At last, we are on our way to Kinta Bantangan. We've been sick for the past week and we're still not over it. After we went to Mount Kinabala, we got such a bad case of flu and um, we were in bed most of the time. And we kept on extending this trip just to get better and today is the last day that we can extend it to, to still be in time for our flight back to Phuket. So, um, let's keep fingers crossed we're getting better. It's uh, about a five hours bus ride to Kinta Bantagan. So we're looking forward to it. bus ride we've finally been dropped off in the middle of nowhere here at Koparayasi, Palangkongan, whatever and now we need to go and find the office they say it's about 10 minutes walk is the homestay we can stay in but we're gonna stay a bit further down in a forest camp I think but this looks like a real village in the jungle almost Regardless of the fact that it's right next to a main road. Okay, this was the office. We've done all the paperwork. And now off to the jetty. And then a short boat trip. Just around the corner. Where our forest eco resort is now. Tangent eco resort. Say again? Um, so something like Tanjung Eco Resort Camp. This is the jetty and the river. Kita. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Aren't you? Yeah. Huh? That's what the. <laughs> that's how your wife's supposed to look like. Oh, Packed oh, and carrying everything. And some birds. After about five minutes' walk, you get to what seems to be the destination. <laughs> Amazing, there's even a lake here. You wouldn't expect a lake next to such a big river, but here it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Thanks, Adam. Mm -hmm. This is a place we want to be for the last time in Malaysia. <laughs> Our last week in Malaysia. So what's below? That one will be a toilet and bathroom. Okay, toilet so and bathroom yeah, downstairs, they'll... sleeping area upstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they have like a bucket. So you will be... A bucket. But with the... How is it? Mm -hmm. We call it Monday. 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 Yeah. All right. So that's how you bath with a bucket. Yeah, on the bucket. Sometimes we. Now hot shower. Showers. Now hot shower. Not shower. Not shower. Shower with the. Okay. So, after three months in uh, Malaysia, we finally finish it off in a delicate place like this. A wooden house in the jungle. Really in the jungle. This is jungle. Borneo jungle. Uh, you can't really see it clearly, but there's a big lake here. The jungle is just too dense for you to see it. You can see the water here as well. And uh, you have a nice deck overlooking the jungle. And you have some trees here in the middle of the deck. Very nice. And a nice closed enclosed sleeping quarters. Two little mattresses on a wooden floor, mosquito nets, so they doing the necessary precautions. But uh, no power. And this is what the jungle sounds like when there are no kids around.
There's already three mosquitoes on my ankle and I've just sprayed myself. Adam, our guide for two days. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and Adam is going to take us on a afternoon drive on the... What river is this? River Cross. What, what's the name of the river? Kinabatangan River. Kina Bata Ba Yang Tang something. Yeah, something like that. All right. Kina Batangan River. Kina. So, say it slow. Kina Batangan. Nyang. Is it hot? Yeah, I don't know. No. <laughs> I have, I'm trying, giving my best. You must say move Are we going downstream first? Ah, yeah. oh, okay. We're so, looking for the progress, this monkey. Yeah, we're gonna see the monkey and then we're gonna look for the elephant upstream. Come. That's the mole now. We eventually got to see the proboscis monkeys during our boat cruise. We observed these unique monkeys for quite some time free falling between the trees. We unfortunately were not able to capture them on camera as our current equipment is not adequate for up and close nature shots. However, here are two photos we borrowed just to show how the male and female differ from each other. The longer and bigger the male's nose, the more attractive. The females are the ones with the short pointy noses. Look at, look at that stomach. And we got to see the proboscis monkeys and some other monkeys. The jungle in the night. And now all the night sounds come through. Frogs and all sorts of insects. Beautiful. It's by no means connected to the main river. Here there was, uh, they call it water spinach. There was a papaya as well. And the chicken. Can I show you what I'm eating? And you have two bananas. Fried rice and chicken. Vegetables and two bananas. Two bananas. Tonight there will be more people. But now it's just us. One happy family. And this is what you get walking through the jungle. A leech. That's how you know there's monkeys up in the tree. You hear all the stuff falling from above. And these are piles of wood. I at one stage thought it is for nice midnight barbecues. Oh. New Year's Eve parties, something like that. There's another one. But they actually here uh, for when the elephants come. And uh, they use it to kind of repel the elephants. Nice big fire elephants seems to not go hand in hand. Right, this is the knicker ball bug. It looks like a knicker ball, it tastes like a knicker ball. We don't eat it, Daddy. Oh. But it has one little trick up its sleeve. You give it time. Cockroaches just f see feet, so the first time it does that, you let it <laughs> jump off your chair. But it's such a gentle little. Insect. But it has a lot of feet. Daddy, can I give it some help? Time flies when you're having fun. 
Three months in Malaysia has passed in the blink of an eye. We really had such an amazing time exploring islands, jungles, cities and exotic foods. But the best must be the people of Malaysia. Welcoming and so kind. Thank you for making our trip so memorable. Back to Kuala Lumpur and once again we were mesmerized by the shiny skyscrapers. We were entertained right until we left. Time in Malaysia has come to an end. We've just arrived at the Kuala Lumpur airport and we are off to Phuket. Just take, put the camera off.